I'm going to talk about human race and what's happened to it, where it's going and its present state. This is from my beliefs. Well, no, I won't say beliefs, actually. We'll cut that. This is my sort of present understanding of what I have. Well, yeah, my present, my current understanding of the world and the universe. Or at least, yeah, the world. So the human race are a species on this planet living among other species but we are very much a predominant species and we've been predominant for 40,000 years well not predominant but up there you know at the top at the top of the chain And um, I guess most people would assume that in the last 10,000 years that we've evolved. Well, we've certainly changed. But, um, my sort of reason for making this recording is that I have a counter-argument to that. In fact, I think we've possibly devolved some quite sort of major parts of our body, including the brain. But really, I actually think there's been a, an all-over devolvement of the individual. Okay, let's go back to 10,000 years ago. No, okay, now let's go back 20,000 years. 20,000 years ago, humans were essentially Believe, to be correct, hunter gatherers who lived in tribes, big family groups. Could have been something like possibly 150 people in a group. And they would be as we know today, because some of them still exist today. In fact, in Brazil, there's still a tribe who've never seen any sort of civilization. Still living today. And they hunt and gather. And they get along and and I actually would say that those humans are better than the humans today. And I mean physically, they probably don't have any illnesses. Perhaps their immune system is so strong they're out there and everything in their life is natural. Their water will come from natural sources and all of their food. Completely natural environment. Anything they have they've made and they've got stuff. Got bow and arrows, spears, but they've made these themselves. Which is what humans all over the world had 20,000 years ago. We'd made some 
evolutionary step to use tools. That's tools and create fire. That's what humans did to put them a step above every other species on this planet. And if you look at a typical human these days, physically we're in worse shape. Obviously you've got people who are still in very good shape sports sports people and everything else athletes um, so there are plenty of people in good shape you can have that um, but I think probably the majority of people aren't particularly in great shape and you've only got to look at lifestyle to see how that can happen quite easily Myself, I'm 35, and I notice I have to keep pushing myself to do physical things to keep me in some sort of shape. Because for an occupation, I fix computers, and that's not particularly physically demanding. Okay, so the next thing. Alright, before I go on to the next thing, I'll just put in a little example here, which is what made me think of this. And our feet. Our feet. No one can argue this. Our feet have devolved. We stick them in socks and shoes, and we walk on them. And we don't walk on them as much as we used to. And... I've noticed at the age of 35 my little toe is being clamped underneath my other toes. Um, I can actually spread my toes, I can spread my little toes out quite far. But anyway, for the last month or so I've gone against wearing socks. So in the house now I just wear bare feet all the time. It was getting on my nerves and it's part of my... Um, being more natural, of uh, course, um, thing that I've done quite significant in that natural course is um, been drinking only rainwater for the last five months now, and I'm sticking to it. I'm much happier on it. Anyway, so yes, our feet have devolved. You know. Our feet would have been much more useful a long time ago. So that's just one example which everyone can probably clearly admit if they have a good look at their feet. And if they're above a certain age, probably about 30. Um, yeah, but um, the most major thing that I think has probably devolved and maybe only recently in some humans has started to improve again in fact it's probably been a bit of a, a wavy decline and rise anyway but I think the human brain has devolved um, they know that chimpanzees have an amazing memory. I've done plenty of um, experiments and then nasty experiments um, getting the chimps to memorise numbers and they can memorise 20 numbers even though they're just flashed before them in like half a second and can remember the order of the numbers and where they were. I mean, it's just astounding. And I think back 20,000 years ago, you know, we would have had a lot of knowledge in our minds. Um, where to find certain foods, 
process of making tools and all these sorts of things that we all did for ourselves and that's that's the big point is that um, back then people had to do it for themselves they had to know yeah they would be taught by the other people in the tribe and everything but they still had to be able to do it everyone had to be able to um, contribute but you know they would have been a lot bit more varied in their tasks they've all known how to to use a bow and arrow and shoot a monkey or yeah um, so I lost track a bit then um, yes so their brains were good you know to be able to to do that and um, they probably had very good community and socialising with their community they're probably quite a lot happier as well and quite possibly they were very much more spiritual and could read their subconscious and be guided by it and I think that is what how the human brain has devolved you know perhaps for a period of thousands of years and um, you know probably with the advent of cities when people began to serve other people in exchange for living and food and um, very much then also farming because you know the food you eat and what you need to do to get the food you eat kind of makes you what you are um, you know people in tribes and everything come together as they're basically their sole purpose you know, the soul work, if you like, if there's work element involved, and of course there is, is to get food, and obviously to put some sort of a roof above their head. So, you know, once you've got those things, you're happy, you can, you can relax, and that's that. But then the advent of cities and farming. So we've got uh, an easier way to get food, kind of easier sort of in a sense you're sort of sitting there waiting for it and there's a process involved in making it but um, if all you need to do to feel well fed is to eat bread say you could actually live on bread but your brain particularly would suffer because the brain as we know needs things like vitamin B12 amino acids and other things which we find in meat fish cheese eggs those sort of foods which I'm I'm sure you know they still had eggs and stuff and meat but you know suddenly you you have this large portion of food bread which I think they've proven that people who ate just ate sort of you know they ate a lot of it it could fill you up you know, it was cheap easy to get you didn't have to go and shoot some animal you know it was was detrimental to the brain and you know we have probably looked on at history and been told about well, certainly I got the impression when I was learning young when I was at school was that oh people in those days were dumb 
oh they were stupid you know and that going back even further sort of if they were indicating towards the caveman you know the caveman oh, you're just a dummy with a club and that's the impression we've always been given but it's now my present understanding that um, another entity wanted to dumb down the human population now these are either humans who wanted to stay at the top of the pyramid and wanted to just dumb down the rest of the population or perhaps even another species who actually may possibly want to dumb down the human population so much in fact that we kind of devolve out of existence and I think the way this society is these days sorry we're in November 2012 that if we take too many steps further in the way we've been going so far without major changes to the way this world operates that we could hit a slippery slope and we'll no longer be able to defend ourselves because we're too dumb or too deluded and yeah be sort of unable to continue as a species I mean let's take 